With Election Day quickly approaching, there are a lot of questions swirling, even more so since we're in a pandemic. So we wanted to answer some of the most common. Let's start with registration. The deadline is October 9th. Find out if you're registered with the voter search tool on the State Board of Elections website. You can also see your sample ballot there. If you're wondering whether you have to register again, Guilford County Board of Elections Director Charlie Collicutt says if you voted in the primary, chances are you won't have to. If you have stayed within your county or within Guilford County since then, then no. If you moved and came back, then yes. If you've moved at all within the county, changed addresses, then go ahead and update the address with us. But uh, you do not need to re-register, you will be fine. When it comes to voting, you've got a few options. In-person early voting will start October 15th and run through the 31st. You can find the list of several early voting sites on the Board of Elections website. Many have asked about absentee voting, how to request a ballot, how to submit it, and how to track it. You can request it online or in person until October 27th. You can drop off completed ballots at early voting sites or at the Board of Elections office. You can also mail it in. The state has a portal called Ballot Tracks so you can track the status. Even if you got that absentee ballot, you don't have to use it. You can go vote in person instead, but you won't be able to vote twice. Even attempting to is illegal. I would destroy that ballot. Don't be tempted. Don't send it in. Do not vote twice. Uh, but. Um, certainly, if you have not yet mailed it in, you can go vote early or um, on Election Day. The Board of Elections has numerous safeguards in place if you do decide to vote in person on November 3rd. Head to our website for more on those protocols and precautions, plus more of your questions answered.